on overpass and try and eliminate Liquid from the competition. Winner will go forth to face nine to fight for one more spot in that group stage of Cologne. Who's it going to be? Well, we're about to find out. Team Liquid starting things off on the CT side. They're going to have to dig deep as they just gave away a, a massive lead on their map pick at Mirage. It was them in the driver's seat with the chance to close this out 2-0. and oh, And everything now hangs in the balance of overpass. Big on the other side of it, you know, n nothing but credit to give. I, I really like what the desk had to say. It wasn't, didn't even really feel like it was about Liquid playing worse. It felt like Big really did up the level there as we uh, battled through Mirage. Let's see if they can finish it off that way. Let's see if they can keep up appearances here. As we get into the pistol round, Big are already spread out down the long side. They've got one man moving in through the bathrooms. This is an A play, whether Team Liquid like it or not. It's a bit of a smoke block from oh. Patsy, and he's teed up with a flash, but no love for it. Nothing found on that peak. This one ends up 4v4 as big move in. Everyone jumps off that flash, so he can't hit a headshot. Smoke down with a gap, gives process away in. Yakitna knocks him out, and Rainwaker will not wait for this bomb to get planted. He goes flooding in over the truck, leaving just Krimbo in a clutch. He falls, and Liquid will take that pistol round quick and cleanly. It's uh, a scary map. If you go off the numbers, obviously you can't look too deeply into them, but a map that Liquid played twice back in Copenhagen, they lost it both times pretty dominantly as well. Whereas Big won both their games, albeit with a different roster at that same competition. So the numbers aren't great, but hopefully it's something that Liquid have looked at coming into Cologne. With a pistol round in the pocket, Big take a near full eco. Liquid already, already coming in with a lot of plays, a lot of flash yeah. pushes. I think you have to, you know, you you have to regain that confidence to open yeah. up this map because if you came into it trying to play this how Mirage ended, like you're you're done, you know, like you you can say goodbye to to the hopes of making it to the groups. So it's nice to see that they're. Oh, Ooh, he's on for all of them. Go on, yeah. there we are, your Kinder. Clean. <laughs> Lovely anti-eco from him, money made. The one mag MP9 ace. Mm. Very cleanly done. Don't often see them look that pretty with the yeah. MP9. Normally there's a lot more, you know, W holding, jumping, spraying, the full nine yards, but not from your kinder. Even just like the awareness of where these peaks were coming from on what timings was, was very pretty. Well, we've got the gun round now for big. Liquid's still running bonus, but they've got OC and Orb. They've funded it up, and he's going for the aggressive long peak. Meanwhile, being very fast through the connector. Patsy, not going to get cleared. He's the one to swing in. He's been keen. It was the downfall near the end of Mirage, some of those CT peaks back behind Ticket. They don't know about OC. They find out the hard way. The bomb doesn't want to go back and trade, though, so Big just opt to group up for a B execute. Limited util, smoke flash, and liquid three strong in the site. Yeah, right place, right time for your kinder. He's going to look to tee up his teammates here. Over towards the monster side, he creeps in and there's Rainwaker with a peek, but they're already ahead of this smoke. Alarm bells going off for Liquid now as they realize the B play's coming in. Now drops that flash, does a bit of damage, but can't get any anything more from it. It's all going to fall onto OC's orb. Going to hang around and see if they give him a reason to go for it. And that one kill there just might tempt OC forward. Oh. Is he going to decide against it? Feels like he's backing out. Does not want to give this one a go. Oh, every bone in your body almost wants to see him attempt this, but playing the uh, playing the long game, playing the safe game at Team Liquid. Yeah, also knowing the big won't have their own AWP, and this is the guarantee to make sure that stays the same. You've done economical damage. They won't be able to buy it up. 
and Osi can you know keep the good times rolling. You hope on the CT side moving forward, a player the desk drew attention to, someone who needs to perform in this third map, considering not just the stakes but the situation of CT overpass, which is where Liquid is starting. Up there with Nuke in being the best places to be as an AWP player. OC needs to show us. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think OC is one of these players where whenever you see the heights that you can reach, you, you just wish that's what you had all the time, you know, and you don't always get it. And, you know, in the past, when we had a first join Liquid, it was a crisis of confidence, right? It was an issue of uh, his teammates would often say he knows what he has to do. He knows the kind of responsibilities for him and what he should be doing, but he just has those little doubts eating away at him. And then we saw a convincing looking Liquid, for example, back at Kalavica, and it felt like maybe that put a little yeah. bit of, you know, wind in his sails. Even back at Rio and also in Paris, OC was very loud. Mm. He was screaming. He was injecting a lot of energy towards the you know, end of the last Liquid roster, which was a great sign. Rain Waker, he's a dead man walking, double naded. They're too blind to clear and process will have to trade, but stuck out on the pillar, he finds three kills on the entry, and Liquid are locked out yet again. An AWP save for Yakindar, even though OC lost his in the site. And Big managed to do it again, breaking their way with a quick B pop. I'm liking the early executes for Big. They started to do a lot more of that on Mirage. It was something that felt lacking on Vertigo. Even if it is a, a, was a one-hit wonder on that A site, it got them that second map. And Sensei's got on an orb. And, you know, just to kind of delve back into the, the OC, you know, I think this has to be where we see him deliver here, or it's just because, you know, when Liquid were out in NA, there was kind of this idea of you don't really have a pool, a massive pool of players to choose from if you want an AWP, right? And OC was uh, the, the kind of guy who'd, who'd show in the highest level and had the most promise. But I think with this move to Europe for Liquid, there is going to be this feeling now that that pool has deepened, right? You're not this uh, invulnerable player who you kind of can give that space to to develop, right? So even little thoughts like that are things that come into play. I want to see OC uh, get to don that big green again soon. For now, it's just these saved guns. Your Kindar will have one, though. Where's he going to look to use it? Over towards B. Cool. Stuff. Nice nice time for a yeah. gimmick like this to, to find a man advantage, right? You know that that's not something that big should be ready for, and now you make out like bandits in the big liquid game. It's a sea of thieves, and it's liquid plundering down towards water. Yeah, but... They let them escape. I felt like Singh could have chased that kill. He just knows he has now good timing to walk into A, but he's not ready for another boost. They are really using every trick in the book, our Liquid, to make this rifle sing, but it will not survive the cross back into the site. Naf has a USP here as Big enter onto A. This is a little awkward for Liquid, who may have started 5v3, but are by no means favored now. Rainwake has picked up one of those guns, but if it's not a default plant, there's very little he can do. Yeah, this is kind of nice for Liquid, though, because they're teed up in a way where they can attempt this. If they're given a reason to go for it, everyone like is this. here, and this could be the kill. OC with the backstab. Oh. They're going to lose Rain Waker, but what a time for OC to find his voice. A double kill from Long on the vanilla pistol, and now it's just Process in the hot seat, looking for oh. the 1v2. Oh, oh shot misses, oh. but Yakindar makes up for it. And so once more, another clutch going the way of the captain of Team Liquid. Not an easy close for Yakinda. Process was ready to win that 1v2. Hit a banger onto OC, and Yakinda missed his first AWP shot. He had to hit it. One more bullet, and he's done for. So very important eco win for Liquid. Uh, starts off very strong thanks to Patty's double off the boost. But OC with two USP kills on the flank, that will inspire you once again. And that was actually a really cool round from Team Liquid. A really nice way of making the most out of the two guns that you saved forward. Going for a, a double gimmick in one round, right? You boost the AWP up, in, uh, the, the rifle up in con, and then you boost it back at the sign on a site. Two angles that Big shouldn't be ready for, and at best are playing for trades in, but you never gave them that chance. Very cool idea. I would love to know who was in charge of orchestrating that, because you assume it was going to come down to Nath and Rainwake, you know, playing off of one another.
making that decision. This round's opened up quite nicely for Liquid once more as they flash themselves out through short. They've taken away some very important real estate. Once you've got this room, you can really paint a clear picture of where Big can be in the round. And so either Big have to go back and try and retake water and connect her a little bit later, or they just play with the real estate they have. But that gives them a few less options in the mid round, such as this, you know, fast rotate down the connector if they want to get tricky with the bomb. So they are going to re-clear it. But this takes time, and this takes resources as well. Liquid are even making the read as well. Patsy's just dropped down lower. It's four strong on B. They know what's worked for Big. This has been the way in. Yakinda's poised with a flash as well. 20 seconds, it almost feels obvious at this point. A is completely empty. OC's even deep peaked the bomb site. So 20 seconds as big lay up and execute. Liquid just have to hit their shots and combine with a flash as well. Naf swings out for a kill, taking two of the bomb loose as well. The molly burns out one, but Sensei doesn't have the time on the clock. He must abandon ship and Liquid hold on to the B site for a change. Four to two now. And off the back of that eco win, coming in with an even more competitive round, one where they actually profit as well. Very important to build up their money early on the CT side so OC can continue to field AWPs. And that is all the big have in this follow-up round. 2K a player and the saved orb. So it's just going to be a game of, you know, in the same way when Liquid saved those two guns and they were assembling boosts to try and give themselves an edge. Right now, if you're big, you want this orb to go out, try get contact, try open up rounds, get you a bit of space, maybe even get you a gun if you're lucky. You know, you can arm these echoing players that, that are around the AWP, and then if it ends up coming out of the wire, suddenly you have kind of a series of bodyguards, living decoys, whatever you want to call them to draw the attention away and make that AWP a bit more dangerous. So I like how big are trying to use uh, Sensei right now. Just giving him a lot of room to go and seek his fortune with the AWP. Yeah, it's just the setups aren't really giving away any kills. His best option is catching someone jump spotting on A site. You can, might give him that. He's going for a little hop right now. But you, well, as soon as you spot the AWP, you don't go back for more. And because Sin makes contact first, there's now a route open to exit for Patsy out long. He doesn't actually have to stay in the toilets fighting for this. Oh, OC's on the angle. Sensei might just walk right in. Patsy goes hunting for more. Onto the pistol. They're everywhere. It's big info at least, but they have now been armed. And OC has dropped that AWP, importantly so. Can even try and hold on to it by going a little bit more aggressive. He'll know that process has grabbed the gun. Missed shot. OC now owns the angle. There's no getting out of here alive. 20 seconds fighting for survival. Process hits a second. And OC drops the bomb once more. They've read this well. Crimbo's coming in on the flank. And Liquid will not allow it to happen. Two clean rounds in a row. Liquid are back for now. Can be so hard to break in on this T side of overpass. It's actually big to even call in attack timeout. Yeah, you know, I think the, the challenge was always going to be harder for, for Big here. When the desk were on earlier, they, they said that at times it felt like a highly organized FPL game watching them on Mirage. And, you know, I think for Big, they turned that into a strength, right? They, they did just use brute force in a lot of those rounds. They went A, they rinse repeated that till it stopped working and it never stopped working. Um, whereas here, you know, there's a lot more options open to Liquid and I think it requires a much more synergized T-side, right? Overpass at times is just a test of how good your defaulting is, how good your trading is, and how quickly you're able to react to this information to, to make something of it. And those shouldn't be strong points for Big. But they're making it work anyway. And honestly, the firepower has been there all series. 
different players in different maps. It was process of Vertigo, Sin topped the charts on Mirage, but Sensei wasn't far behind. Taps and had some incredible rounds, including a crucial ace. Process setting up for a boost, but look at the timing of Patsy re-clearing connector late in the round. Even if they're holding it into Mac 10, the Molly decides it, but they go swinging into Rain Waker, and Patsy needs this backstab right now. Yeah, one kill. But he's boxed in, crosses out with his oh life. Dear. However, OC's blindsided, trying to watch short. It, it, that is kind of awkward, honestly. OC is given a, an impossible task, really. Playing around the pillar, he had to try and watch the short walkout while also being cognizant of Monster. Naf was unable to help him much in this battle. And so now looks to make up for it by moving in, but he ends up feeding big another kill. Patsy out from heaven. It's a pretty swift reposition from the connector, so they're not ready for it. Oh, oh and he even adds another to the tally. Sensei tapped out. It's just Tabson has to stand and deliver for big. Back on Mirage, you could rely on him. He would offer up these swing rounds, but here he's tagged up. He's done Finishes it. off your kinder, and there isn't time for oh. Patsy. Plays ahead of the smoke. He's going to get on the bomb, and Liquid will grab that round. He grabbed the kit from Naf's body. Tabson was sitting on one. I thought that would be the only in the sight. And Patsy, who hits some bangers out from heaven, grabs the kit, grabs the smoke, forces the swing, and wins out the round for Liquid. Four kills from the guy. What a round. This reposition, just to give him only a headshot angle to Sensei on the orb. Begging for the re-peak. And Tabs, and that was a must-win round to keep big afloat in this map. Their T-side success will have to come late. As they are left again to pistols, and OC's even taking his spawns. Won't find that second kill. But will get out of dodge. Pat even has his cross. OC... Looking renewed right now. Patsy hears the next man. Nice kills in middle. It's only this AK for Crimbo. He's going to have a lot of fights. From the connector, that backstab can be immediate and it's never even needed. Lovely round from OC's AWP. Sure, you know, it, it, it's mostly... Uh, the, the pistol's running at him there, but still does well to keep a cool head on his shoulders, right? Doesn't give anything away. If you end up falling and suddenly they have an AWP to play with, that is a very scary round. But he just holds his own, has support moving around up through the connector and in the bathrooms with him. And so Liquid, they keep that very controlled. This is at least reassuring yeah. right now, because, you know, M Mirage was just... Big brutalizing, a lifeless Ooh. liquid for the most part. I just don't want to get ahead of myself because in both of these previous maps, it's big late activating. Patsy flashed into middle, but there's four players on the wall there. Kinder picks them off as they try and retreat, and he knows there's more in store. Reflash, repeat, and easy done for the captain. Liquid definitely looking a lot more comfortable here on Overpass than they were back on Mirage. Process has hit that timing out middle, but the bomb is about to be your kinders. And if you're Process, there's a part of you that just doesn't believe he's mad enough to do this, but it's your <laughs> kinder. Of course he is, right? He, he really loves just getting the drop on the opposition. He loves those angles where, you know, the, the reactions you're getting, a player's having to hit some 90 degree flick on you. He makes life very easy for himself in that round uh, and goes on a real tear. Sat pretty up top of the board is the captain of Team Liquid. Leading by example, as it were. And I mean, now, you know, alongside him, you have uh, actually Patsy up on the board, right? Uh, getting involved early. These two, there's some similarities between how they like to approach it, the, the mind that they have for their individual approach to the game. And so you have these, these two players that like to harass you, that like to be involved in the opening fights, both finding a lot of success for Liquid right now. Uh, and that is going to exasperate some of these problems for Big. E even on Mirage, they, they would normally hinge on winning one of these opening fights and then using that to snowball the round out of control. There's a certain comfort that comes from being 5v4 up. You know that Liquid aren't going to take as many risks.
Orpa's paradise right here on the A site. And Patsy's been very good on these anti-ecos. He's taken multi-kills near about every time. It's in a dangerous position where they are going to flood out behind him here, not in front. While the flash will be negligible for Patsy. OC's right now watching long. This could get very awkward. He's binded off. Are they going to clear him? He turns around, but it's only one this time. OC's forced to concede the site as Liquid might have to finally play a retake on top. But they've already got a flank, and they've got the manpower. Yeah, Naf dealing with the toilet component is huge. It really removes all the options from playing around the bomb. And now Sin is just stuck brawling in the site, and he is isolated, alone at long, and finished off by Yakinda. Great timing on that wrap round up through the connector from Nafla. It made that so easy. It went from being around that. You know, maybe Big could have made interesting. If they're allowed to back up, play around the bomb, suddenly time's against you and there's a lot of pressure on that situation. It's all kind of alleviated when they lose those post-plant players over in the toilets, and that's thanks to Nafly. You know, got to draw attention to it as well because we've been singing his praises all day. I think Sensei's done a very good job of rising to the occasion here for Big. Really, you know, upping his level, yeah. looking good. But he's had a very rough start to open up Overpass, a map where Orp is king. Liquid are not really giving him any opportunities, right? They're, they're playing their fullbacks very nice on A. OC has been spotted here, but has rarely been playing this far forward. Often in the toilets or back on bomb site. So Sensei's options for picks have not really been there. Rain Waker only jiggling monster at a most. But yeah, it's not a good time for him to go a bit cold. Big have had no real B short control either in these last few rounds, going for a lot of top hits. And now Liquid have established a really nice crossfire in this position. Krimbo with no flashes, just going to walk in, and Patsy wins his fight out. They can try and hunt him down, but there's two CTs in position, and Patsy and Naf make it look pretty, putting Sensei in a very uncomfortable clutch. And yeah, I, I, Liquid have played very safe in this CT side. They just run away. <laughs> That's a wall bang out of nowhere from Yakinda. So there's not even a way for that orb to get warmed into this T side. 10 to 2 right now. Another timeout for Big. They are running out of time here in the play in. Yeah, I went and had a look at uh, Sensei's stats on this map for, for Big Academy. And it is one that he's pretty hit and miss on, you know, even within the, uh, the, the Academy squad. And so here in the big leagues, it's that much more punishing. Any unforced errors will be punished immediately by Team Liquid. And a lot of these opening moves that we've seen attempted, as you say, have fallen on deaf ears. So what's the solution now for big? Your AWPA is not creating that space. A few key players having gone quiet. This is the true test for Tabson and his merry men. Yeah, it's the top two from the previous map, who are, you know, one and three kills respectively. So it's uh, not a great time for Big, but it's not really just come down to, you know, the, the lack of fragging potential, if you want to put it like that. Liquid are playing very solid CS, not overstepping the mark, not making too many plays. Even that's a little awkward, that mid-molly that Sensei just threw. It's, it's meant to land just a tiny bit deeper through party. It's not a problem in this round. He won't get punished for it, but we'll have to see if that's something he looks to throw again, because it's not landing correctly. Oh. Naf, full blind, still going to take a man out of the round. And Big, their attempt to pick up the pace a little on yep. B, rests on the shoulders of Tabson. He will deal with Yakinda, and he has opened up this play into the B site. Patsy's still waiting for Lurkers on A, but OC's dropped in. They've only seen Tabson. He's now been joined by his entire squad in the bomb site. Bomb plant will allow Patsy to run a rotation. OC probably further than they're ready for, but with this smoke down, Big will consider the water as an option, and they'll trade that kill out. Oh, Patsy, it's not pretty, but he now knows where they both are, and it doesn't matter. Sensei will have his time in the sun and take an exit to end the round. Big looking for five on the half. They've at least found three.
B has been the way in. The opposite of that of Mirage. All of their rounds on this B bomb site. I mean, look, this, this whole experience for Big has been a bit of an exercise in problem solving on the fly. And they've got big problems to solve. But if they're able to do it and find, you know, a five round half, that is very much recoverable. That is very much salvageable. So they've got to hold on to those little things right now to keep them in this. And okay. Tapson certainly to seems it. to think it's a possibility. And they've got the boost ready, so they can just chill on this little perch for a minute, see if Liquid reposition. And while they did, it's a whiff spray for Crimbo. Kinder comes out with the goods, and OC follows up as they exit that corner on short. Very heads-up play for OC. Puts Liquid up a man after all, despite Tabson's opening kill. Big cannot celebrate for long. And they are almost forced into this B-bomb site with no map control in a three-on-three. -three. That is not a favorable fight for Big. No, not one bit. You can though. I was waiting with you till pulled, but it's gonna look to lob that in. The nade will find process, and he takes it one step further with the rifle in hand. Just Tabson left, opened up this round. For Big on Mirage, he was one of the saving grace players. This is demanding a lot. A very experienced player. We've seen Tabson deliver miracles. Swap me too could be another example of that. Tapson yeah. will do it to him. Look at him go. You put him on his own and the captain will deliver. They Beautiful scenes. Yeah, rely on him for a reason, right? When we've hit these crunch time moments in this series, it has been Tabson who started very quiet at the top of the day to come in with some incredible rounds there's, of big need him. There's always a tap in a Tabson yeah. clutch as well, isn't there, they man? Like, it, it's so beautiful. That shot on a Patsy. Once more, it's one of those rounds where Liquid don't even realize they're losing it till it's already been lost. Tabson plays that like a mastermind. That is, you know, the experience shining through on this guy. Oh, and now Sensei with an opener. It's all changed here at the end of the half a big. Five rounds might just be enough. Sensei tries to get them there with a five on four. Tabson reigniting the light in big. I mean, that's been his whole mission statement his whole career, is bringing yeah. the fire to German Counter-Strike, right? And sometimes it takes Tabson to, to have a round like that to reinvigorate the squad. It was his high-flying ace back on Mirage that really looked like it took him to new heights. And here on Overpass, that 1v2, to now stand the chance of a five-round T side, which honestly, yeah, you know, you probably would have wanted a little more out of it, but, it, but it's not that bad. You, it's oh. workable. You can do something with it. You're no longer dead in the water at the oh mercy of Liquid, and they hit the perfect timing here. Your Kinder, clear misread on where they could even be in this round. They walked the whole way in. They were so deep there. I can barely blame him, but Nade's out on the rotate, gets what he paid for. And Liquid, time to accept your fate. There's more re-smokes and Molotovs to come through. Big, a very slow start to this third map, but still believing yet. Fighting for five and fighting to survive here in the play-in. Liquid will have to get it done on the T side instead. Naf just delaying the inevitable. But Big are here to battle back, and that is a good sign given how this map started. Player, but even once you get that bomb down, where are you going? 
You don't have nades to help reposition on the site or get into better post-plant positions. Monty struggling to figure this out right now on their map pick. And for Furia, I, I think Monty are actually just kind of playing into the hands of this double orb setup right now. I think it's great for Furia that they've got Fallen and Art both on the orb. The utility has not been good enough to counter them. Sure, Fallen gets picked in that round, but saw how difficult it was for Monty to actually get much control of the site with the lack of util. And a bit of an awkward buy for Monty. A couple of players getting AKs, but largely just trying to half buy into this one. Keep some money in the bank. Monty's winningest map. 77%, 13 maps played last three months. It is a juicy map for them. Right now, though, they appear to be the great between the fingers of Furia. Fallen will raise the alarm as he focuses on Palace. He has a gap now as more will spread through the ramp. A faster round from Monty than these slow ones have not been successful. That was a rare miss from Fallen. How is he not getting this tag on to Krasno? I think he moved before he shot that third one. He is really in bullet time, Krasno. I don't know how he managed to plant that bomb. But this might be a round for Monty. Okay, Serata will be in that jungle position. Orb versus a scout, but still five Monty players are standing. Krasno of 3 HP in the sandwich for the time being. Now the numbers start to emerge and Furia are getting shut down. This is a very expensive round for them. And this is exactly the round that Monty needed, the specific round. If they can take everything away from Furia here, it would be wonderful, but Art's a hard man to frag. And in true Furia style, he refuses to leave. He'll take that at least, saving the AWP. But that's just a big switch up from Monty. And I wonder if it comes from the timeout. If it comes from LMBT telling the team, listen, these slow plays aren't working. Let's just call something earlier in the round. Make How? sure we have those smokes on A. How is he dodging those rounds? I don't know. Honestly. I, th I think Fallen just kept flicking like slightly. Stages do not get bigger than this. Tabson giving it all he has to find five for big at the end of this first half. Liquid oh! up in the lead as they sit on double digits. They had a huge lead by own players. We're about to find out as we get ready to head in to the last half of this BO3 series. Yeah, it's been a bar butter. It's had some insane rounds, some crazy clutches, most of which coming from the captain of Liquid. And we need him to lead them to victory right now on this T side, or this would be a devastating exit for the tournament for big. Would hurt to see them fall on home soil, but it can't be anything but expected given the roster woes that this team entered with off the back of the Meistershaft. Yeah, you know, I think if anything, it's going to feel more bittersweet now because of how close this yeah. series has been, right? So you almost hope that Big can, can find something to latch onto here in this second half. They've got a CT side ahead of them and a Liquid squad that look to play this pistol in a similar vein to how Big did in this first half. It's a creep up the long side. Big have responded to this by keeping bodies back inside of A, just playing the info game as Tabson as he'll be the one calling these rotates between either site. In the meantime, I think it's important to keep our eye on Sin as well, who's got this space down in the connector. He could serve to complicate matters later in the round, whether that's Liquid going down into him or him coming in on a flank. It looks oh, like it's going to be the nice. former, so the Dooleys have to hold the line, and it's only one from the con man of Big. It could have been a lot worse, though. He was looking the wrong way as they entered. Process gets the spot on the site. He's got Tapson right behind him as well, but Liquid are closing the distance. The kid is very far up long as well. Tapson's about to get blindsided. There's the entry kill. Process needs something more, and one will not cut it as Liquid slice their way through the A site and get this bomb planted soon enough. Although they're gonna get run at, they're not gonna give the respect. And Patsy close in the corner denies both as they go through the smoke. 11 to five, saved by the bell. And that's such an important pistol round, even at this scoreline. If Liquid lose that, it can close up so quickly on overpass. Instead, big or force. Both have their arguments to be made. And big wanna wield weapons soon, so scout out.
Gonna have a chance to put these scouts to work over in mid. Sensei is even holding for this little Ooh. check, but he still isn't able to win it. Yakindar swiftly deals with the scout over at Divider. And so that, you know, uh, there was quite a bit riding on that little opener there. It looked like Sensei had the drop on him, but just falling shy of it. And now, you know, your, your hope of winning this four spy is severely diminished. Big might feel that pressure to lean into a bit of a gamble here. Or make a play for some info. They've pulled the second man up over towards A. This splits the defense 2-2. No! Oh. Okay. That's a nice one from Tabson. That is a very nice shot from Tabson. This was going to be the problem all across the map. His teammates are falling like flies. Tabson's the eagle. More is required from it if Big wants to find a way in this round. Sees one at long, but he can't deal with Yakindar, who's aggressing up through short. And just like that, Liquid, they're on to 12. They find this conversion, and now they've only got pistols to go up against in the next. Twenty they're going to reach 13 as Big have their first rifle round. Yeah. 21 and 6 on Yakindar. Just having a, a mental day in the office. Dude, I mean, he's he's been fantastic all, all damn day. Yeah. Just it's so good in clutches, especially. But, I mean, even in finding impact right at the start of rounds, he's been fantastic there. And, you know, for me, I think that's one of the most impressive things as to how big have even made this a three-map series is, you know, back at Blast, back in Copenhagen, when we were looking at it there, you were you were looking at the numbers that Yakindo was putting up, and he very much wasn't the guy in the limelight required to do that. Um, here, though, he was playing really well. You had good, good performances from NAF across the other maps, and Rain Waker was looking really solid. It felt like you had all the pieces for Liquid showing up. And so, if anything, I think it's almost to Big's credit that in spite of Yakindar playing so well, we've ended up going the distance. But it is very cool to see that Yakindar still has this in him. Yeah. Just the sheer entry power. When you, you know, put Patsy alongside him, this team just does have a lot of opening, aggressive players, a lot of options. Just need them all to be hitting here, considering this is supposed to be, you know, the warm-up for Liquid in the play-in. Sure, again, as, as, you know, you can give the caveat to Liquid if they were to lose here in the play-in that, yeah, this is a new team. They haven't quite found their form or footing. They don't know exactly, you know, uh, how they want to be doing this. But at the same time, just going off for those recent... Wow, that's a wall bang. Recent results, we saw them take down some titans of Counter-Strike. So... You know, winning these games are a must for Liquid. Especially with the goals that this team has set out, right? They want to be title contenders. They want to be trophy takers. And maybe you would look at the roster and be surprised by that statement with players that you might not have seen before in Rain Waker. And Patsy, who kind of went missing after Spirit's initial climb to the top 10. But I think that there's great potential in this roster when they are all hitting. And right now, in this final map of the series, Liquid are in form. Let's see if they stay there. 13 to 5, win this round, and you are as good as done. Yeah, a bigger aware of that pressure as well, right? They know that if they want to stop this, if they want to have a chance to make it to the group stage, then it all starts with this round. And you really have to take it one round at a time right now. If they fall short, they know it's over. And so that's certainly not a bad way for this to start. Sin on the wall bank, removes Naf. That is a pretty big scalp to have found because in rounds like this, you know, you sometimes see someone like Naf left to kind of tow around outside of uh, outside of the monster. Looked like he wanted to have your Kindar there to try and pressure the back lines at B a little bit. That's no longer an option for Liquid now. Jump spot still not quite caught Rainwaker at long, but Tabson will stay in this position. They have three strong on A. He's afforded to just spam the info gathering. 
Going to go back and re-smoke Monster as his teammate does drop down into lower, but this will be the A end for Liquid with, with Rain Waker in this position. Sensei's had a very poor map in comparison to his previous two. This could be a round to reignite the light. Does hit that tag onto your kid. They're getting closer now, a Liquid. 20 seconds. This all could be a problem, but a missed shot. He needs to land something and Sensei will. Blinded out, finally hounded down, but I don't know if there's time here on the clock for Liquid. Two players with a crossfire. Taps and won't give it away, I say. He goes for the swing, but there's enough CTs in position that Big will stay alive and find a sixth round on this CT half. Hey, I mean, we, we were highlighting at the start of this just how important winning that round is for Big. If they want to have any chance of making this competitive, they've at least overcome that first hurdle. That was yeah. the opener, and this was uh, Sensei just buying time over the wood short. Yeah, you know, he defo could have gotten more out of it, but he kind of did what he needed to do. He slowed down that progress. He bought time for the rest of the site to just get pumped full of big players. A dream for some. <laughs> and he tabs some fans. Him and Sensei go back to the bomb site as a liquid crawl through the connector. No mid control. Not yet, at least. OC waits for some curiosity towards being very common to CCTs taking water or going for boosts. But he spots nothing. And the scary part about making this kind of play is you don't know about long, you don't know about the fountain push. So Rain Waker comes from T-Spawn to re-clear everything. As Big just go for an info boost on B, they see nothing either. They're going to make a gamble. My goodness, look at this rotation. Big are moving four players onto the A site right now with nothing but a jump spot on B short. They're fully right. Don't get me wrong, but this is such a ballsy decision for Big. It's about to pay off. Oh, Tapson dies first. Sensei needed something no from the way. forward position. They just go into the meat grinder. And even though Naf kills Patsy in the crossfire in the madness, it shouldn't come to matter. This round should still come to pass. Crimbo oh. dead and the nade finds Sin. It's a clean one for Liquid. They might have gone into the fully stacked upper site, but they catch big right as they're trying to make a yeah. bit of a move up through short. And Liquid come out looking all the better for it. Big wanted to re-aggress and take back Toilet's control right as, you know, Liquid were getting there. But they just walk into this three-man lineup. Naf kills five players, one of which is his teammate. So it's all under control. Patsy will forgive him. And Liquid win a crazy round to immediately reset Big and set themselves up for the entire series and the elimination of the Germans on home soil, feeling like an inevitability right now. Crimbo and Process fighting back with pistols, but it, is it all for nothing? This is some really ugly fights over the ward short. Thankfully, Osi is able to course correct there. But there's still weirdness at play in this round. It's far from comfortable, or at least as comfortable as it should be for Team Liquid. Grouping over in the connector, it's Sin that's interesting here. All the way around the world, the only downside is, you know, you, you still flip a coin in terms of what route do you choose to clear, and he's going to go all the way through middle, and the deeper he gets, now feeling a little more secure to start running, he'll get the info that there's no one long, but he doesn't know about toilets. He's going to have to go clear that manually, but as he's doing this, he's painting a picture for the rest of his team to allow this slight lean down towards lower. Still, you feel like if that flank had headed down the connector, oh, this could have been an entirely different round. The info is appreciated. It's nice. The pistols are at least going to be here. Nice. But they're not favored anymore. Oh. Not in these heads up fights. And OC makes it happen. Locks it in with the AW. And that's Liquid five what? kills away. <laughs> he hit that wall bang. <laughs> oh, this guy can't miss. Well, the first couple of shots, but then, yeah. Finds three and a half kills at the end of it. And Liquid, a reassurance on Overpass, a map that they have yet to win in two attempts uh, with this roster. Finally coming through with a decisive victory, it seems. And a berth forward into the waiting poles yeah. of nine. And, and you know, you're, you're almost left with this feeling of like, oh, it's, a, it's about time, you know? It's yeah. about time we, we had like the, the dominant Liquid map come through. For Big on the other side, 
there's no doubting it. They've given their all to this game in spite of the circumstances. Sensei played a great game throughout the entire year today. That is until we got to this third map where it feels like it's all boiled over. It's all a bit much. Struggled to find that same impact on the AWP and Big have felt his absence, sadly. That's such a nice play. You can kind of walk the smoke just as taps and pulls back and he hits a great timing on this A hit. Big now scrambling, rotates back to that top site, but Liquid are in no hurry. And considering how influential he's been uh, and how much he kind of rocked Liquid's world with some of the calls, some of the plays on Mirage, it is sad that Tabson is the first to fall in what can very much be the last round that Big get to play here in Cologne. You know, we can put all the caveats by this we like. We can say that, you know, that they come here without their full five roster with swaps from the IGL role and the like, Tabson taking over. But for someone like Tabson, who's dedicated his life to this game and to this scene and to raising it up, the idea that he's the first man to fall in the last game of global offensive for him to be played in Cologne, it's a sad one. Without a doubt, 30 seconds now though. Liquid need to finish what they started. Or can his team do right by Tabson? Oh, he doesn't fire. He scopes out and Yakinda punishes. This could still go wrong, though, for Liquid. They've got to hurry up. Since Reaggress, Yakinda needs to backstab. Rather, Rain Waker, oh, who doesn't realize the flash. communication falters as the team flash comes in. Two on two. Ten seconds out of the truck. Yakinda needs to drive by, but he goes for the plant. Oh. A big live to fight. One more round. Just when you think the curtain closes. Big pick it back up. Couple of mistakes there for Liquid. Definitely some comms problems. Even with the team flash, Rain Waker, when it expires, doesn't look back to toilet at all. That was a all weird right. one for Liquid. They were feeling the pressure. Yeah, it, it certainly gets very peculiar in the mid round, doesn't it? it? It's these fights around the toilet and that team flash on the Rain Waker in the site. But even then, like he got his vision back towards the end and just seemingly wasn't really reacting to the uh, the info of the toilets player. And so big breathe a sigh of relief. They're still in this. For how much longer? They've managed one crazy comeback today. Now you're asking of them to do it again, only this time at an even more one-sided scoreline. Be sure control is nice, but Liquid right now creeping out of Monster. Oh, your kid has to bail. Molly decides that for him. No, he's getting made. Patty hears he steps in con. He's going to go for it. Awkward timing as Process went back to check B short. Tabson being loud in con sells his teammate. He needs to re up with a kill in middle. Rain Waker. Oh, he didn't see timing. him? No way. Tabson, he has the. Playing the trigger kill. discipline here is crazy. He's going to take it. He's got to eventually, but it's still going to be that B hit. Yeah, and now they go running into this crossfire set up over towards Monster. Sin is dead, but Grimbo still very much a threat nice. in the round. Teed up. Oh, Deal with them. Now it's only Grimbo left. 40 seconds. Patsy staring him down. Grimbo locks that in. It's a 1v1 for the game. OC going all the way around the world. Had to go back and get this bomb. The Orpa versus Crimbo, and he is one step ahead. Crimbo rotating up towards the A site. He's going to meet OC here. This one gets decided by the gunfight. Oh. Crimbo will be the man to win it out. And he'll keep big in this one. He's a young close. gun delivers in the clutch. It's what Crimbo has been known for. Ah, way too close in these rounds for Big right now. I'm shocked OC's not ready for the, the possibility that Krimbo's made that long rotation. He knows OC was all the way back in T-spawn, so plenty of time for Krimbo to get that rotate off before OC's ever going to make it into A. Liquid making it difficult. But they have just so much breathing room. Chest not feeling tight just yet. Pistols out for now, two flashes. And big, uh, good recogn uh, you know, recognition of Liquid's economy. Don't fight for con, don't play for toilets, don't take B short. They just play these extremely far ranges with rifles. They sit in the bomb site where, unless Liquid hits them, spectacular 1Ds have just no option of breaking into this round.
Now, this is one where you get a little looser with it if you're liquid. See what's given, see what's gained. Out towards Long, Crimbo gets the spot and he's got this AWP here to back him up. So this should be a very safe bet. Long is locked down. Big will hold on to this one cleanly. The pistol's yet to make a dent. Oh. There's something. An exit on the way out perhaps for Patsy, but should be all said and done as Big find their way up to nine. Slow and steady wins the race. I would do oh, when Big have, yeah, Taps calling it a timeout. Good time for it. Big have done what they've done in this series already, right? If you miss those first couple of maps, you know, sure, Vertigo was a bit of a wipeout in the second half, but, oh, sorry, in the, in the first half, but Big pulled mini comebacks in both halves, and then a Mirage pulled a massive one as Liquid sat in a commanding lead, ready to close the series. So while it feels just so against the grain mm. for Big to be able to do this off the back of what was 15-6, they'd be a fool to not fight for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, with any competitor really, but especially with uh, a squad like Big, you feel like you find the more impossible the odds, the harder they, they fight just to prove you wrong. Because it's like, you know, at this point, you want to leave it all in the server. You want to leave no words unsaid at the end of this. You want to feel like you did everything you could to make this sort of impossible comeback happen. Impossible, huh? Let's see. Liquid coming in with a 3-1-1. Tapson making a play. He's got another flash behind him as well, ready. Liquid are hanging around in that smoke. Taps is going to go for it. Oh, but they peek right through after the fact. So a five on four gifted to Liquid. Big have survived these odds before, oh, but not no. if this comes through. Naf, my goodness, holding this shot is insane. He will just take it after some time, but he makes sure his team already start running towards B yeah. before he takes that kill. Liquid just want to group up and hit this site together. That is two benefits as well, because as they're collecting that info that Monster's clear, the odds are CTs are also adjusting, right, to that information. So you're not only getting them having slightly rotated out of position, but your team are now just a few steps closer, a few steps closer to the finish line our team liquid three kills separate them from ending big's journey in the playing of cologne and i love this move because even though bigger full stack this site they've still got rain waker clearing a this is going early on monster but the bomb can rotate if things go wrong once they recognize this stack is intact or they just wait for rain waker to put the knife in the back yeah, I think he has to full flank here, right? There isn't the time to go back up, but they flash oh. in. They find that opener, and this could be the beginning of the end. Trapped in, will be Sensei falling, and Sin is finished off by that wrap round. Liquid, draw Big's time at IEM Cologne to a close. For guys like Tabson, who have dedicated everything to this, that was his final chance to play Global Offensive here in the uh, the city he would love to represent yeah and for you know liquid you can